Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those that are just joining my channel for the first time, I am Chakisha of Her Lovely Plan and here is where I do planner related videos and also inspirational videos on Sunday. So what we're going to do in this video is plan in my B6 Traveler's Notebook. This Traveler's Notebook house my weeks um, for YouTube as well as for my ministry website and along with my PR inserts and things like that. But the only one that I truly decorate in here is my weeks that I use for YouTube scheduling. So if you want to see how I set up my planner for the week of February the 11th through the 17th, stick around. Last week I used um, stickers and washi from my Simply Gilded subscription box that I got last year and as you can see lots of beautiful foiling and I did use a couple of other shops I used these bow headers that came from Scribble Prince Co as well as these icon YouTube stickers from H Rain Designs and her shop is on Etsy you guys y'all have to go check her out so I did get a lot done um, what I am realizing and planning in my traveler's notebook that I can still have a lot of functional space as well as have a lot of deco um, simply because this is the only thing that I plan in here I don't need to have a lot of space to put personal things or business things because this insert is solely used for social media so for my planners that like to go more ham eggs and bacon with their deco I think this would be good for you especially if you don't have a lot of stuff to document um, so and I think I said that in another visit video before how you can determine whether or not you are a white space planner or a decorative planner is basically based on how you use your planner if you have one planner that you have to plan everything in your personal your business social media children whatever the case may be you need to be more of a white space planner or you can be a decorative and a functional planner by using stickers that are functional such as like checklist stickers or stickers that have like um let's see if i have an example here like stickers like this that have the list kind of um format to it so it is a good balance you can find your balance you just have to figure out what works for you i am a functional deco planner so i use stickers that are deco slash functional as well as i leave certain areas of white space if i absolutely know i have to write a lot down plus i have separate planners for separate things I'm the type of planner I don't like my food touching each other and that's the same with my planner and that's the one great thing about a traveler's notebook it's almost like Franken planning like you would do your um, disbound planners but this you can put as many inserts as the planner holds um, whether you have a four string six string eight string planner you can put as many inserts in here to do what you need to do that way you can be a little more decorative instead of just plain function but anyway enough of that we're going to go ahead and get straight into planning and also as i stated in my a5 um, video if y'all know of any printable inserts that has a layout like this but without the actual dates on there let me know because sometimes it does get a little tedious having to white it out and cover it up but nevertheless that's why these kits have date covers to cover that right on up so let's go ahead and get jumping right into this plan with me
the kit that I'm featuring in this week's spread in my B6 weeks is from Simply Me Quiche. And these stickers are absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is a mini kit, so it came with four sheets um, in which you have your deco stickers, your quarter boxes, um, your headers, date covers, which are a must, as well as these awesome date dots. I absolutely love these date dots because they fit perfectly inside the circle that she has created um, in this kit. Um, one thing I will, that's my personal opinion, when you're looking to buy kits, make sure they have date covers. Um, because in my opinion, I think they really make your spread, um, especially if the fonts in the coloring from the actual dates that they already have on the inserts aren't all that cute. It'll kind of throw off your spread. Again, that's just in my opinion. So most important thing to look for are date covers as well as date dots. Cause a lot of these kids don't come with date dots and then you're kind of forced to kind of find some date dots that will go with your spread. That's my tip for today. So in using this kit, it, were, it was some items that I needed to use that were not in the kit. So as you can see, I used some headers that said to do on today from a previous kit that I had um, used last week, I wanna say, in my planner. I'm not sure if, I can't remember if it was my B6 or my A5. But anyway, I just wanna encourage you all, like, feel free to mix and match your kits. Um, I don't know I know some people are like I got to use the whole kit that's why they get a full kit but you end up having so many pieces left over from kits that you used previously that a lot of times match the color theme that you're going with so don't be afraid to mix and match your kit pieces that's what makes it more creative in my opinion you know the kit already gives you kind of like the blueprint the format of how you can kind of lay the stickers um, but just to add your own personal creativity add a few stickers from some other shops as well
Okay, so now what I'm about to do is just add some of these confetti overlay headers on top of the headers that's underneath my date covers. Now, I did have some te technical difficulties, um, so that's why you're not really seeing me peel them off the um, backing and putting them on. Um, I have contacted the shop to let them know that they weren't cut properly, so I will let y'all know how that turns out. Um, but for the most part, all the other headers that I got from the shop came off perfectly, in which you'll see with these bow um, overlay covers that I'm about to put over the top of the latter part of the week. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add some more finishing touches to the spread, and then we'll go ahead and wrap this thing on up. Okay guys, so I am finished my spread in my B6 weeks and this is my insert that I use for social media um, and I am really, really happy about the spread. Now I did have some te technical difficulties. Um, I, I'm going to contact the shop owner and hopefully she can compensate me because I did order some new stick um, overlays and I absolutely love them. The, they are absolutely beautiful however these ones that had like the glitter or confetti kind of um look to them let me pull it up they're super cute but they did not come off so i think maybe her blade or something was dull so i'm gonna reach out to her hopefully she'll send me some more because i really like her product like i said these are from her these are the bow header overlay um, and they peeled right off so it had to be this particular um, sheets they weren't cut right nevertheless um, I didn't want to overdo it with a lot of overlays because you know once I get a hold of something and I like it <laughs> I'll be overdoing it but yeah so um, this is Valentine's week so of course this whole section was kind of dedicated to Valentine's Day um, and I used the Valentine's Day sticker that came out of the Happy Planner um, basic sticker book and then this um, this is actually rose gold it just looks a little more gold than gold rosy um, but this came out of the seasonal LOL sticker book and what I did do as I mentioned throughout the video I did incorporate um, some stickers from Golden Plants Co. Um, because I wanted some to-do stickers and this particular kit did not have to-do stickers. So never feel like you can't combine stickers from other kits with the kit. I don't know, some people may feel like, oh, I gotta use all one kit, but 2019, what did we say? No more hoarding. So if you have leftover stickers from kits that match a kit that you're using, just use them. And what I decided to do is to, I'm trying to incorporate my girl stickers back in my spreads because y'all know that's my jam. Um, and I decided to, you know, do two because I just felt like, you know, two is better than one, double trouble. You know, so these are super cute. They match the spread. And I added just a pop of Simply Gilded Washi. And look how beautiful that washi is. Look at the rose gold bows and those florals in the background. And then I just cut out the ends and made them like flag stickers. So this is my spread um, in my B6 weeks. And I hope you liked the video. I hope this has inspired you. If so, make sure you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Oh yeah, you guys say I got my nails done. <laughs> And it kind of matched my spread a little bit. But anyway, make sure y'all give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, if you have any suggestions, again, about finding um, printables that don't have the actual dates on the actual insert, that way I don't have to always white them out. Um, but other than that, if you haven't already done so at this point, please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or my Sunday live streams. 
And as well, make sure you check the links in my description box. I have some discount codes to some shops um, that I PR for, as well as just when you shop frequently, you get discount codes from the particular shops um, if you sign up for their rewards program. So make sure y'all check that out. Don't miss those discounts because if I'm gonna enable you, I'm gonna at least try to save you some coins in the process. So if you did enjoy this video and you like it, also make sure you share this with your planner friends so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plan so until next time planner fam peace thank you again for watching her lovely plan and i hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell